inventory. Way to our ninety. Okay, where are we? Just run south. Am I dying? definitely need to sort out our stuff so let's go back Still need all four.
No, but that's not tagged. Let's just grab it.
we get more crafting stuff though? Mm. Very tough. I do kind of want gold. I need to bump up my uh, spirits. As soon as you talk to me again, yay, I'm not a monstrous vampire. Alright. crap to research. Oh shit, slow. Oh fuck, I have to open all those things still.
stab. Oh look, more stuff. Or nothing. Oh, geez, that one was running. One right there almost got busted by him. <gasps> Careful to walk past. Let's go pickpocket the thief. One more time before I get into trouble. Oh! Oof. That was close. That was only 55%. 50%. And then it goes up to 60. And I got busted. Oop. <laughs> it wasn't me. And a quick 1.8k. Nice. Oh, that's a treasure. Junk. Okay, I gotta go through this list very carefully because I know there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that I'm not used to seeing. Cool. Treasure. Honing stone. Treasure. Treasure. I still have to go through all the venomous stuff I have now because I need to wear that stuff. Okay, that's everything. Alright. Fyler's bow, Ruby Asher shock. Uh, arm cops, I can't use that. Okay. The Fyler's helmet. Venomous jack. Alright, that's fine. Venomous belt. Sh fine. Venomous boots are green. Ah. Black 
let's swap out those. So if I swap out that, then I should be able to swap my no. If I take away the divided bow, then it becomes a nah. Yeah, it's two items. Two eight eight. Yeah, I could just actually upgrade it. of both. Gotta give all that stuff to John. Three here, then I had oh, two out of three. Er.
next one's over here. Alright, so that's done. Nice. Let's see if I can another one of these holes in the wall. <laughs> I want to buy a real house. Oh, I spent all my money anyway. It's only 40,000. <sighs> do I even have 40,000? But do I want to buy it? I'd rather have the space. The uh, cargo space, carrier space. Uh, I gotta max all that stuff up. Okay. Wait, Ryan.
Yep. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. Close the door properly. Mm. Close the door properly. Riley. Busted. Hmm, why not? Getting in, grabbing the sky shot, and running back out again. So it's this way. This way.
<laughs> Wasn't gonna be my ah. girdle of health. Where the heck was it <laughs> storing that? Yeah, we'll work our way down and then up. Okay. so many of you fishing.
out of the stage for a vampire, I could run around invisible. But I am at this present moment going through with draws. <laughs> go there but I think I should just no let's go there wait 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 I got a way shrine right behind me awesome let's go back up to the way shrine
Ah, dude. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Hi, can you help? Okay, what do you need help with? Uh, if it's ESO related? Sure, go ahead. I'll do my best to answer what I can. Ah, oh, they're protecting the... Oh, crap. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, maybe not so. Sure, go ahead. Let me know what you need help with. Ah, oh, shit! Okay, so you're level 2, cool, alright. And you wonder if a dungeon is good to level up to level 50 or killing monsters level 50? Oh, you're level 20. Uh, killing monsters to 50, I don't. Oh, oh, when you, um, yeah, you basically. Uh, ah, there is a term for it, I'm not too sure what it is for when you, like, you sort of bait them. And then you sort of lead them together, and then you kill them as a group. Uh, there is a term for it, I'm not too sure. But if you're level 20, one of the uh, best things I found to actually help uh, initially, if you've got all of the expansions, like if you go to the dolems, um, you know the anchor points, like if you go to Oriodon, Oriodon and um, you just go back and forth from anchor to anchor, it's... You've, oh, uh, I've got only plus. Okay, but plus gives you most of the old DLCs. So you should actually be fine in that aspect. Yeah, so if you go to like Somerset and you do the, the title dolems, oh, they got another name for them. Oh, oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> Saying too long in one place. Um, you get, um, yeah, okay, so if you go to Oriodon, you should have that in your DLCs because that's quite old now. And you literally... Yeah, yeah, sure. Absolutely. Let me just uh, find a place to hide. <laughs> All right. Okay, map. Um, the other thing which also may help is if you have a look for add-ons. And can you solo? Uh... You don't have to be in a group to solo, um, because if you're doing the dolems, then generally other people are doing them too anyway. Uh, but but dolems are definitely a team thing, and it's th and it's these over here. This is the symbol that you're looking for. Now, if no one is there, and like it starts to activate, I recommend that you don't activate it yourself because. I even, you know, even level, you know, maxed out characters, I don't have a maxed out character, but I still struggle with some of them by myself. Um, but generally, if you see people hanging around, uh, waiting for them to activate, then just hang around there too. And then just wait for it to activate, get your shots in. That way, if you've done a little bit of damage, you, you don't have to kill anybody, but you have to at least actively shoot people. And then you'll be able to start claiming the loot and the chest and stuff like that from each time you do a successful thing. And if you'll notice, there's actually a very nice run. Oh, sorry, this is Oriodon. Let me go back out one. It's this island over here. This one right there. There's, There are, I think, three or four dolems. But the really great thing is... Once you've found all the waypoints, you know, all the way shrines, you'll notice that they are actually quite close by to the dolem. So a lot of people, what they do is they kite back and forth between two, maybe three of the way shrines. They'll like they'll go to say Windy Glade, and they'll run down to the dolem there, 
and they hang out there. I haven't even done my main quest line yet. <laughs> um, it's totally up to you because the storyline I think is designed to be on par with your character. So as your character goes up on, in the levels, they will follow up with you. So I think the difficulty is scaled compared you know, to your level. So you won't find it easy if you're a maxed out character and then you go do the storyline. Uh, you've only done Vardenfell main quest. Yeah, well if you've done... Yeah, that's where you appear in Vardenfell. If you'd started with like the main quest line, then you would have been in say... Uh, yeah, where's that place now? Uh, Kanathi's Roost, which is this area here. Uh, you know, this little island here. That's one of the places that you can start from, depending on which uh, um, faction you start with. But yeah, don't worry about main quest lines, don't worry about storylines. The great thing about this game is there's so much content that you can actually do. Um, you can play this game however you want. If you just want to be an explorer and you just want to run over the hills and enjoy the view and discover new places, do it. If you want to fight in delves and public dungeons with other people, you don't necessarily have to team up with them, but you know, you can tag along with them and you can assist them and you can heal them and things like that. That's great as well. Um, you can do main quests, you can do side quests, you can yeah, this is, this is the great thing about ESO. There's no real structured way to really play this game. I mean, at the moment, I'm playing a... Uh, let me just show you quickly. This is this is actually a Wood Elf Warden. Uh, you can't really see her because she's crouching. Um, but uh, she was supposed to be... Well, she is only just an archer. All right, so... But over the course of playing, she has... I wouldn't say diversifies, but she's become quite bastardized. Is probably a better word to use. Uh, she doesn't. She barely uses any of her class skills. Her bow is maxed out. Right. Uh, if you look at her class skills, animal companion. I've got a bull netch. Oh, and dive. Uh, it's not really a tank. Um. This is my very first character that I actually made in the game, that I've been playing with. And I have respect to her once or twice, and then once I've done, say, hunting all the sky shards, which is what I'm actually doing now, um, she's going to become... Uh, she is still my, she'll still be my ranged bow attack person, and she's become a little bit of DPS through just with the equipment that she has. Um, but I mean, if you have a look here, I mean, my green balance... Oh one skill. Winter's Embrace, one skill. If you have a look at weapons, bow is maxed out. Armor, medium armor, maxed out. Um, <laughs> this is where things get really funny because sh of course you can. Yeah, go ahead, ask. Um, I mean, I got infected. Yes. Three sky shards for one skill point. That is correct. I mean, I got a I got a friend who actually infected me with vampirism. So, uh, when you feed three or four times, you get level four vampirism. And what happens is you can run, and you turn invisible, which is great because my character is quite scout-like. You know, uh, the problem is I'm going through withdrawals at the moment, and I haven't been feeding because when you're a level four vampire, well, in full-blown vampirism, you can't trade with anybody. Uh, everybody in the crafting areas and in the, the trading areas, they don't deal with monstrous vampires, you know, because you have to feed on people. And it gets quite, uh, yeah, it gets quite frustrating, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, dude, there's so much stuff here. I mean, the Dark Brotherhood, you can become an, uh, an assassin. I mean, I'm using the Blade of Woe. I'm sneaking around behind people and ganking them. Um, uh, is there any marks for the shards? Yes, but only if you've got the add-on. I'm using 
dark UI. Let me just get over to there quickly and find it, and I'll show you. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was this one. It should say dark UI. Uh, no, don't stress. No, no, it doesn't matter. Um, I only just recently learned about add-ons about a month or so ago, and I've been playing in the, since the beginning of the year properly. I've actually had this game for about six years, and this became my game that I would just buy on Steam when it was on special. You know, I had tam I had the uh, the original one some time ago when it was still in in beta, and I uh, picked up something I can't remember what and I, I it was free so I picked up the, the the key for it and I played around and my computer was terrible the graphics were horrible and I just gave up on it because it was just so terrible and then it came on Steam and I thought I'd paired the two together so of course then I thought I had ESO and I thought I had the Steam one and I thought they were the same thing but they're actually two completely separate games uh, well these copies and then I went along and then you know uh, Somerset was on special and elsewhere was on special and I just kept adding it to the list I never played it never played it I just kept adding it to the list oh DLCs oh yeah 60-80% off buy that throw it on the thing and then I went online to like uh, what's it keys uh, CD keys right and I thought wow Grey War was like 60% off I'm gonna buy that bought it redeemed it jumped onto Steam to go enjoy playing Grey War nope it redeemed on my original account so I ended up having I couldn't redeem it I couldn't uh, refund it and uh, I had to buy it twice so that sucked yeah it's very sad <laughs> but yeah so I started playing this at the beginning of the year and man I just I just enjoy this game so much I've given copies to my friends um, and they're now, they join me online, where we play most evenings on ESO, um, and, um, yeah, uh, a friend of mine who's been, who's been a religious Diablo fan for years, uh, when he moved overseas, he never played anything else, just Diablo 2, Diablo 3, and we eventually got him a copy of this, and he curses us, and he hates us so much, because this is all he plays now, um, yeah, okay, add-ons. Right, so what happens is you actually have to go and search ESO add-on and you look for Dark UI. That's what it's called. What happens is you download it, you launch it, you then tick all the boxes of the things you want, like uh, the harvest map. I pin um, all the stuff when, yes, it is free. Um, so like all the harvest, harvest stuff and you can select stuff you can deactivate stuff uh, you know like no accidental stealing which I've done plenty of times um, but uh, there are some things I haven't even used yet you know so yeah <laughs> loads of stuff yeah uh, you know, AD I think which is original content and then yeah but I mean if you look at the libraries here uh, stuff about finding uh, the law books um, yeah some stuff doesn't always show up properly um, and it takes a little bit of tweaking now and then just to get it working and then like you turn it off and you restart and then whoops it, it works fine so so useful this thing is very useful let me show you why I'm gonna go to my map you can uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that makes it look neater you can have like if you're into that sort of stuff where you want uh, damage numbers to fly past and hit points yeah hit point bars yep you can add all that stuff there's there's a couple of other um, UIs as well it's not just dark dark is just the one I use because someone else recommended it to me but you can I think another one's called rogue I mean if you just google it you just google uh, ESO UI you'll probably get a whole list of them and then just yeah go nuts go crazy just um, it can slow your computer down if you don't have enough RAM or, or anything like that so just be mindful one add-on at a time uh, you can because the UI allows you to choose multiple things 
uh, a friend of mine uses a different one that automatically sells all of his junk. Um, another one gets rid of all of his worm bait and fish bait and stuff like that. He's got one um, that will automatically uh, fill it all of his fish. He just has to click it once and it'll automatically fill it all of his fish in his inventory. Uh, another one that will open all of his chests, you know, when you, when you get uh, the coffers and things like that. So there's a whole bunch of them. Um, I'm just sticking with some basics right now and eventually I'll, I'll, I'll stick my finger in there and mess around with them and see what happens. But I'm actually quite happy with what I have. Um, the Sky Shot map is perfect for me because I'm just collecting skill points for crafting. It seems broken, but if everybody's using it, is it really? Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that helps. Uh, yeah, it's it's um, great fun. Oh. The one thing I don't have uh, on my map is law books. I still need to find like a UI for that. So it's this one. No, it's a pleasure, man. Anytime. Usually what happens later on, like my time, I'm not sure where you are, but it's it's 4 o'clock here in the afternoon. Usually from 8 or 9 o'clock on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, um, I stream. Um, I play ESO with friends and they're all online. And they're, okay, all right, so you're in the same time zone as me. Cool. Um... And they're the brains. You know, they're, they're the ones that, that break down everything and, and, and look at the numbers. And I just play for fun. And they kind of just drag me along with the, have a look at this set. This set here will work with these skills that you use. And with those sets that you've got here, you then use these sets. You know, and it's kind of like, look what they've done to my character. I mean, I'm running around with a Defiler set, all right, which... Uh, you know, whenever I do critical damage, a creature pops up and spews acid on everybody, or poison, poison, right? And it stuns them for five seconds. But with that, I'm using the Venomous set, which is deal dealing critical damage inflicts venom on your enemies for 10 seconds, dealing another 2,300 poison damage to your targets and other ta enemies within six meters of them for every second. So... Yeah, uh, and my character does a lot of poison acid damage, so it just kept compiling and compiling and compiling, and yeah, they're like, you want this to streamline your character? I'm like, my character is such a hodgepodge of stuff. Let me out, let me out. <laughs> uh, do you find the sets in dungeons? Um, You find them all over the place. Some parts of those sets are uh, a little more rare than others. Like they'll say, like you get these four uh, in the surrounding area, but you can only get like the fifth one, like the necklace or rings, in a dungeon in that area. So once again, if you Google it, it'll it'll give you a good breakdown. There's a very nice, comprehensive uh, wiki page for that. I mean, you see here, this is all nice, and whatever, and then you can see. When I zoom in, I've got green and blue spots, and these are all the harvest things that I've run out, I found. And when you harvest it, it places a pin. So if you're just looking for uh, for crafting materials, and you just want ancient silk, or you just want red wood, or whatever, then you can run around. Okay, match. Templar, I really don't know what set to pick. I have changed my set numerous times. I had one that allowed me to run while walking. Oh, sorry, run, sorry, walk normally well hidden, which was the Mother's Silence set or something. Um, I've had one that, uh, the Oblivion set, which allowed me to harvest souls uh, for my soul stones. Uh, and heal myself every time I killed someone. And I've had like one or two others. And now my friends have said like, oh, well, since you do so much poison damage and poison over time and you know, damage over time, 
you should look at these sets because this will amplify what you have already so i'm like okay so here i am <laughs> forced into it but i am my my character is a support damage character um you don't really get that you know the, they say like you're either dps you're either a healer or your you know or you're a support uh, healer tank or dps my character is more like a damage support uh, she fires a lot of arrows and poisons a lot of people and that and i build up damage over time it's not instant damage but it adds up very quickly with the rate that i fire at you know and so i just I just like the way I play it. It's just fun. Okay. This looks like there's all mountain terrain. You see, this is a great thing about sky sharding. Yes. That's a word. Um, is like you can set your point and you say like, I'm going to run all the way down there. And while you're running all the way down there, yes, if you have the right skills for it, uh, the, the, the bow is perfect for area damage. That or a lightning mage uh we've got a friend she comes in and she does her magical jazz hands she's just like you know like real old uh, pimp emperor <laughs> emperor palpatine star wars style stuff you know it's this way okay but we have to run this way around i mean okay check this out all right so here it is I'm going to harvest it, and then it'll put a pin, boop, and that pin I can obviously see from a distance, and it will appear on my map, uh, there it is, just under my thing. Now, you do also get a mini map, which I guess is quite convenient for most people, but it kind of slowed my game down a bit, uh, it got quite like resource intensive. intensive. So I kind of just stayed away from that. Yeah, so I mean, eight between eight and nine, we're all back online usually. There will be at least two or three of us. None of them stream. I'm the only one that streams though. So I've been trying to like convince them. I mean, the only reason why I actually started streaming was because I was showing somebody in Discord you know what we we're doing and he was like watching us play through the discord live live feed and he was like dude this is this is so much fun you should actually stream this and um yeah a lot of people are kind of like yeah no that was you know they, they enjoyed the humor that we have because we're all friends we've known each other for for years and years so our banter is primarily what we're actually showing off yes yes you can um, uh, if I remember where it is, give me a second. Mini map. And then you have to reload the UI. And it should appear. There it is. Okay, it's not too bad. I have actually just recently bought more RAM for my computer. So that's actually not too bad. Although I think I've lost my pin. Where's my mark? I can't see it now. I have to re-pin it. There we go. Yeah, and that's what it looks like. And you can zoom in and zoom out and you can lock it. I see it actually shows... Oh, that's interesting. It's actually showing what's around me for... And run. Meow. I've actually become so used to playing without the mini map, so Boop, dead. Lovely. I'm collecting uh jewelry. Uh, stuff for a friend. It's got a lot of uh, advanced roots, veteran roots. 
not too sure. Actually, it seems to be running pretty fine now with the, the UI. Let's go explore this place. Never mind. Oh, that's a merchant. I probably got some crap I can sell it. Sell junk. Those go to that, make a little bit of space. Oh, I'm still okay for space. I have been throwing all my money into inventory space and bank space. <laughs> it's only because um, uh, you know this this is gonna become my crafting character, so it just makes sense for her to have a little bit of everything. I don't think I want to fight these guys. I have to go around. Okay, so I have to head more west. So, that way. fighting. I want that chest. Okay, here we go. Did. No, not the iron ore. I want that. You know how many times I've had people come in and just grab chests from underneath me from off, or I start killing people and they just like, nope, and they just grab the chest. They're like, hey, you little. S <laughs> chest stealing, little. Your bastardos. Oh jeepers, I've still got a mission that I have to hand in. I think it's a daily. Just seen it now, I just realized I was seeing it the whole entire time I've been playing. Okay. Wow, I've completely overshot. I have to head like southwest, south east. Oh, but you see my my mark has disappeared again. Can you buy an XP scrolls for gold in game? I'm not too sure on that because everything I've gotten um, has been like through things like storyline or yeah okay here we go have a look what I've got here okay it's not it's not a hundred percent XP bonus but it's a 50% for two hours these I got just from logging in every day and eventually what happens is uh, you know as you as you go through your rewards where's that rewards uh, the 
dailies. There we go. No, daily rewards. There we go. There we go. See, so every time you keep logging in, you'll get one for each day. Uh, so you get your research, lethal poison, more gold. There we go. This one is 150% experience, but that only lasts for one hour. When you have those scrolls, I recommend that you do the dolmens. Uh, that seems to be the best way to get uh, your XP. Unless, of course, you've already got a group uh, together, you know, and you're playing with them and you're doing delves, you're doing dungeons, you're doing boss fights uh, and things like that. Dolmens. The, uh, the dolmens are the... Uh, the anchors, yeah, the 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 the, the yeah. yes, the ones that I showed you earlier. Uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Dull men, dull men, yeah. But obviously, you have to wait for them to activate. Then you fight everybody. Then the boss lands. You kill the boss. You get the chest, and then you run off to the next one. Now I'm still trying to figure out why the heck my pin isn't showing. I think maybe this is the reason why I stopped using the minimap. <clears throat> is that two? Or is that one? That's two. That's very nice. Okay, man. I'm. I hope uh, I was able to help enough and uh, sort you out. If um, yeah, dude, just Google the crap out of anything that you want to find, or you know, usually everybody who plays ESO on 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 Twitch is generally very helpful if they're not like in the middle of a boss fight or, or whatever going crazy I'm just casually playing at the moment I'm just killing some time so I'm more than happy to help out where I can and if I can't help out uh, if you log in later when I've with uh, up chuckles and nephthable and uh, whimsical elf then or Danny elf whatever she calls herself now um, I can pick their brain as well and uh, <laughs> well you can come join the um, the guild. I got gang pressed into a guild. I might as well add you as well. But yeah, um, let's sort something out. Okay. Uh, got no friends. Add friend. There we go. So if I remember correctly, it's at. Is that zero zero or O capital O capital O? Ah, zero zero. Oh, um, what? Oh, cool, nice. You know what, I've got another 10, 15 minutes. You know what, I'll just come and help you with dolmens. So I'm going to travel to you. My coffee's finished. Boo. Oh shit! <laughs> you didn't even. Oh, I wish I caught that on camera. Man, that was epic. I put my coffee cup down and I clipped it with my finger and it rolled. It did this little gyrating thing and it and it landed right into my hand as it came off the table. Ah! Oh. 
Ah, oh well. Okay, you're at the Dorman. All right, south. Yeah, the one thing I forgot to ask was if you were on the same server. Because uh, obviously if you're on a different server, we wouldn't be able to pair up. Yeah, no, I figured since you, you accepted my friend request. Oh, there's lots of people here. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, <laughs> I sent you a <laughs> group <laughs> group friend request. <laughs> It was just so that I could find you, but that was easy enough. Alright, so yeah, I'm busy fighting on stage. <laughs> oh, there we go, it's going to start now. Just like that. Done. Cool. Now it really depends if people are going to hang around here for the next one. Or if you want to then run up and then jump to the like a dolmen a little bit higher up. I am actually not too sure. I've never timed it. <laughs> I've never looked it up either.
but let's go check out the next one. Okay, so from here, if we go up a little bit higher, we go to uh, Matheson Way Shrine. If I go first, you should just be able to travel to me. Uh, yeah, just travel to, to player, and then it'll take you to me. And that way you also get the Way Shrine. Alright, let's go check out the next one. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, it's starting. Oh, is it too late? Oh, we've missed it. Ow, oh, balls. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, we've actually just missed this one. They've just finished it. So if we run back now, <laughs> um, this is what I mean by when they they basically hop hop play hopscotch. Uh, they hot swap it. So we could go up to the next one. Actually, you know what? That one's further away. We're there. There. Yeah. Yeah, most people only do swap between two. It's this way. This way. So how often do you play ESO? Are you on quite often? Or do you just play like once in a while? Oh, that's great. Uh, do you use Discord? Do you play with other people, or is it just you? Because if it's just you, and you like looking for a group to play with, your time zone is ideal. Um, if you like, I can invite you to our group, uh, Discord group. Oh no, that's terrible. Well, if you like to then I can send you an invite or yeah it was, how the hell do I add people on discord <laughs> it's been a while There we go. <laughs> that took me a little too long. Oh, that's a great number. Ah. Yeah, I actually created a separate... Uh, yeah, you can. Right, let me just invite you to the group then. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Hi. Okay. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Is this your your Discord? 
yeah this this is uh, my friend's discord so we play on this group here and things like that so welcome thank you it's a pleasure wait what happened with my weapon what uh push the tilde button you probably have it tabbed oh i got scared for a second <laughs> <laughs> For what? Yeah, so generally like around 8, 9-ish or so, uh, my friends pop in. Uh, I know it's probably weird, especially like jumping into a group with people that you've never met, but if you tell them that I invited you, uh, it should be, it will be perfectly fine. They're always happy to have extra people running around, because they love doing group, group missions. So, yeah. I mean, friend, uh, the newest one to play, I mean, he's only like just reached... I keep wanting to say Paragon level, uh, but his champion points, he's just reached level 50, like, a couple of days ago, so, but, but they all like to create multiple characters for different things, and so, yeah, like, I try to, but I, I have trouble trying to leave this character behind, because she's just so fast, everybody else is so slow. Uh, I've played PvP when we had the special, uh, the, the event going on, but I'm, I actually prefer PvE. I like, you know, team, team play. Um, I can do PvP, but this character is not built for PvP. Well, I don't have any characters built for PvP. And, uh, yeah, I get horribly ganked every time I join. So, I do a lot of sneaking and a lot of hiding and running away. <laughs> Because this character is, when it comes to like health wise, her, you know, she can't take a lot of damage. Yeah, very squishy. Glass cannon, I think is the term. Oh, so I didn't catch that? Uh, yes. Oh, well, I think it's it's relative to your level. I think everything in the game is is um, tiered. So obviously, if you're like you come in at level one, you're not going to get you know level fifty uh, XP. It's the same as like when you uh, open chests. You know, when you pick uh, lock pick and you open it, you'll get um, the gear and the gold equivalent to your level. Yes, yeah, I mean, it sucks if someone else opens a chest and says, oh, you can have it. And, like, so you get, like, the gold, which is great, but you can't use any of the equipment. Am I going to make it? <laughs> I, I have no idea. <laughs> but there we go. Oh, yeah, no, everyone starts off very slow. Like, horribly slow. You run pretty fast. Yes. Oh, it's already open. It's a than my horse. Yes, I run faster than most people. <laughs> it's the reason why I don't... It's, it's, it's uh, my stamina and my medium armor build. It gives me additional speed if I use all medium armor. Wow. Um... And then every now and then I'll find like set items that give me additional speed or additional stamina and things like that. Um, so until I fully upgrade my mount, I will always run faster than my horse. <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird, but it's actually really fun. Nice. 
twice. Yeah, I actually made like a separate group for, you know, Twitch, but I find I don't even use it. And I've got like three people who've joined me on there on, on the Discord. And I think I should just invite them to this group because I've worked so hard on getting, you know, this group, uh, you know, setting all the channels up and the voice channels. And it seems like probably better if I just stick with this one, you know. And loot. And then we'll run back down to the bottom one. Sometimes it can, oh, and I'm full. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. What, just be careful because it may be medium or heavy. So obviously you want to stick with the light. I can't even put it on. Yeah, I'm trying to look for all the fish bait. Ah. I'm looking for the fish bait to get rid of. Because I do a lot of harvesting. Uh, where is everything? There we go. Lake bait. And. Yeah, so what actually sucks is like if I find something that you are needing. You won't be able to use it because the level is too high. Yeah. It, it, that is the only problem with... Yeah. It's a little person. <laughs> yeah, it's my brother. Aw, cute. <laughs> yeah, snap, crackle, pop. Ah, well, it hasn't activated yet, but so that's good timing. How about, uh, let's say, if I am level 60, yes. and uh, 50, 10, and you're 50, 50, like 60, can I use the armor then? Um, those, yeah, the champion points levels are like, uh, what's that word? They're, they're staged, bracketed. You know, so you've got like groupings of 10, I think it is. Um, but you can still only use your CP level. Once you hit level 50, then everything is just CP level or something. Uh, See, now you're wearing heavy armor. Yeah, I know. Oh, wait, why? No, I have light uh, armor. Oh, okay. Yeah, for... for for a mage, it is ideal to wear light because if you have a look at your skill tree, you'll notice your light armor bonuses uh, add a, add a lot more to your spell casting and stuff. I don't think I. Everything I have is like level 50 CP 160 plus. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you'll get there pretty quickly, actually. Um, it, uh, yeah, uh, if you keep doing like the dolmens and you keep doing delves and stuff like that. Um, the dailies, though. Uh, okay, if you've only got, you won't have Greymore. But I mean, if you, if you had the DLCs for the events like at the moment there's an event in Greymore and you go and do the dailies you get quite a lot of stuff from that including XP and things like that and experience scrolls and then you just yeah you just keep using them you know and you just keep adding and adding and adding Oh, oh, right. Yeah, no, we actually turn our push to talk off. Uh, we find it's, it, uh, it messes around with our gameplay too much. So we find just, you know, uh, talk to activate just works better. Yeah. 
but sometimes you find that you have to turn down the sensitivity of your microphone because it will often pick up the noise from behind you um, and then you end up with a lot of noises right ah. whoops wasn't paying attention ah they kick in my ass <laughs> don't shoot me oh and I died <laughs> see even I'm <laughs> not invulnerable <laughs> far from it <laughs> In fact, the amount of times I die is actually quite sickening. But it's just something I've learned to live with. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a distance person. Social distancing is key. The fact is that if you're hitting them, then that's good enough because then you'll at least get your, your uh, X, XP and stuff at the end. That's the important stuff. Hell, even after a while, if you if you start speedrunning this stuff, what you'll do is you won't even bother picking up all the excess loot. You'll pick up the gold and you'll just leave everything else and you'll just run to the next one. I mean, at the moment, I'm full. Uh, yeah, I should, I should, I'm gonna this. yeah, same. <laughs> well, the the great thing about this is I well I've I've respect this character to I think three times in total since I've been playing with her. Um, you know, you can do it in town. There are some areas that um, you know you pay gold to do, and others you can use a scroll, and you can you know just reallocate your points and think about how you want to play the character, and, and then like two months down the line you respect them again because you found something else and it's 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 great the nice thing is you know it doesn't break your character if you change the game style of you know of your character I mean a friend of mine he was playing a tank you know two-handed weapon he was like he was swinging in and just smacking people over you know and then he realized that if he then pushed the tilde button and he changed his weapons he could change his skill sets too so then he changed his character from a tank to a tank and a healer who was then dual wielding two swords. And so while he was healing, he was attacking with two swords. And then when he was doing the actual damage, he was attacking with his uh, two handed weapon. So you'll find yourself actually like, uh, yeah, adapting to the game style that you want, you know. Okay, I'm going to head back. To, head back. To, oh, shit, what's the time? Uh, okay, I got like five more minutes. I can do some admin now. But I hope that helped. Oh yes. Yeah, check that out. But read through it carefully. There's a lot of extra stuff in there that can be a bit daunting at first. You know, uh, very confusing, and you only really figure out what it does like when you're actually playing the game. And uh, after that, it gets much better. Oh yes. I I never been there. Only in Wardenfell and. Uh, uh, 
but do you uh do you have your like little apartment I'm sorry, yeah you get um if you go to like one of the towns you get to one of the inns they'll give you a little room to stay in and then what you can do is instead of tra paying gold to fast travel to a way shrine you travel to your accommodation and then from there you step out into the town so if you're in like a city you find a city that has if you look on the map you'll see that there is actually a uh, I don't know if you're looking at if you're looking at my stream yeah you'll see that there's little houses Yeah, well then what you do is you just click on the house and it'll say fast travel to the house and it's for free. Wait, what? Yeah, it saves you some time and money. Wait, but I can't uh, fast travel, then it's up to the... Do I need to do something to get my house? Um, yes, yeah, you should have, um, if the house is, if the house is in black, it means you don't own it yet. If it's in white, it means you own it. So you'll have to travel there and you'll go to, go to the house. It's not actually a house. It's a, it's an inn and you get given your first accommodation is like just one room and it's free. Uh, no. No, no, no. That, the, basically, you got to pick the town that you like, you know, that has, you know, all the stuff that you need. Like, for example, my town, my, my room is in uh, Somerset. So, I travel to Somerset every time. I travel to the Golden Garret. And then from there, I go out into the town and I go to the crafting areas and I go to the merchants and, and things like that. Yeah, or just which one you're more familiar with. Like uh, my friend Nep, he likes being elsewhere because that's just where when he when when he started playing the game, that's where he started, and so he's always been, you know, happy to be there. Whereas I started in Somerset, so I just stayed in Somerset. I was <laughs> like. <laughs> Yeah, it must have been um, the latest DLC that came with the game that took you there. Because my friend Rob, well, Up Chuckles, he, he started in Wardenfell, and that's where his his little room is. Wait, I've got to deconstruct that store. Yeah. In, um, in Storm Fall. I can't see from there. Uh, Storm. Storm Haven. Ah, right. I see. Yeah, you got Vivek. Vivek City is probably the one that you want to be at. Oh no, that's Saint Delent. I'm just busy looking at the map and I'm looking at the houses. And you probably find that the one up north Old Veroth Harbor House. Hmm. Genesis. It could be Genesis. Other ones the other the other houses will be oh wait, yeah, that's probably no, that's not a that's not a house. <laughs> Yeah. See, I don't own a house in in Vardenfell, so I'm not that familiar with it. I run around the place a lot, um, but yeah. Can I can I screenshot uh, and send it somewhere in the Discord how it looks? Yeah, you can drop it into uh, Elder Scrolls text.
Okay. Yeah, it is pretty small. Okay, here's what we're going to do. All right, so if you open your map, all right, and you go to Fardenville, yours should open there. Now, on the top right-hand side, you'll see that you've got quests, key, filters, locations, and then houses. On the right-hand side. Oh no, that's that's on your left hand side. Look on your right hand side. Yeah. All right, and then you'll see one of the tabs. It'll be a house. Oh, houses. Yeah, I found there we go. Now, do you have any that says collected? Uh, no, it's uh, totally empty. Totally empty. Okay. All right. So, um, then it should show. Try to think now. Huh. I'm trying to figure out which one of these black houses is the apartment. I would have. It's probably in Vivek City, and it might actually be the Saint Deline penthouse. I could be wrong because that sounds very fancy, and you know your first room is not fancy. It's literally just. You know, four four walls and a and a roof. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but it's free, you know, and that's it's it's great for just traveling to and just saving time. Yeah, getting there slowly but surely. Nice. Good. Yeah, wizards need the light stuff. I thought I could play around with anything, but uh, for a stamina build, funny enough, medium armor is best. For magicka, light is best. For a tank, healing, uh, heavy armor is best. So from that point, it is a little restrictive. I mean, you can build a magician in heavy armor, but it's just a little more difficult to, you know, use. Um, I think I think once you get to like the later game stage, it becomes easier to do. Uh, once you've got the extra points from sky shards and missions and things like that, but I think initially, it's a tough start. No worries, dude. We'll probably check you later. Whenever you want is perfectly fine. If you see any one of us in playing, you're more than welcome to hop in. Sometimes we don't even play together. We just hang out and chat and, you know, we're doing our own separate things in the game. And then other times we all play together and we do stuff. So it's very casual. So, yeah, if you ever feel like just hanging out or whatever, just drop in and say hi. Perfectly fine. Ah, oh, it's a pleasure, man. Have a great one. Bye. Cheers. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. I should be logging off too, actually, now I think about it. I should be doing stuff. Oh, I sold my crap already. Must have. Oh, dad. Oh, that's why. Okay. <laughs>
where I finished that thing even above you. Well, actually, I, I don't even get inspiration from it anymore, so there's no real point in even doing that. No, I, I, but I want to loot the body. No. Oh, my inventory's full anyway. What a waste. Ooh. Run. Stupid city law. <laughs> Dang, damn it. Okay, I'm actually going to call it here. And hopefully when I come back, my bounty will be lower. <laughs> okay, guys. Chat to you all later. Bye. Yes, quit now.